Hello everyone. In this part of our discussion on the fundamental concepts in organic chemistry, we will see two electron displacement effects which are electromeric effect and mesomeric effect. So coming to electromeric effect, it is the complete transfer of shared electron pairs of pi electrons to one of the bonded atoms in presence of an attacking reagent. That is, it is a temporary effect occurring in presence of an attacking reagent and involves complete transfer of bonded electron pairs which are exclusively pi electron pair. Like this, where carbon is attached to its neighboring atom through a pi bond also. That is, apart from the sigma bond, a pi electron cloud is also involved in this bonding. And in presence of an electromeric effect inducing reagent, what happens is temporarily this pi electron cloud is moving on to one of the atoms depending on many factors, for example, electronegativities of the two bonded atoms. So, this electron cloud, for example, now moves on to the atom Z and Z atom which gains the electron pair will have a negative charge now and the carbon atom which lost its electron pair will have the positive charge. And now, imagine this reagent is a positively charged one. This positively charged reagent can now attach to this negative center. And this such effect is called a positive electromeric effect or plus E effect. That is, the reagent attaches to that atom towards which the electrons, the pi electrons are displaced. Under the hand, if the reagent were negatively charged, it can go and attach to this carbon atom which is having positive charge. So, that will be negative electromeric effect. That is, the Attacking reagent attaches to that atom away from which the electron displacement occurs. Only pi electrons are involved in this electromeric effect. So, it is necessary that the system has got pi electron cloud that is only unsaturated compounds exhibit electromeric effect. And there are two effects as we have seen, plus E and minus E effect. And coming to the plus E effect, considering this example of ethylene molecule, in presence of an acidic reagent like this, in presence of this H plus, this pi bond can move to one of the carbon atoms. In this case, both the carbons are identical. So, let's move this pi electron cloud to one of the atoms so that this carbon now become negative to which the proton can attach like this and that the carbon stays positively. So, the plus E effect here demonstrate the attachment of this positively charged reagent to that carbon towards which the pi electron clouds were displaced. And in minus E effect, we can see the reagent, the negatively charged reagent attaches to that carbon away from which the pi electrons moved. So, this will be an example of minus E effect. Exclusively seeing the addition of a negatively charged reagent to an aldehyde, we can say this one. This aldehyde, in this case, there is a pi bond between the carbon and the oxygen and this pi bond can be displaced. The pi electron cloud can be displaced towards oxygen mainly due to two reasons. The oxygen is more electronegative than carbon and the plus I effect, the positive inductive effect of this methyl group causes this the elect movement of pi electrons here in this direction. So, you have got this charge separation that the oxygen will become negative and the carbon becomes positive and now the cyano group can attach to this carbon. So, here we have got a minus E effect where the cyano group, the tagging region attaches to that carbon away from which the electron displacement occurred. And with that we can move on to mesomeric effect. Mesomeric effect is the induction of polarity in a molecule by the interaction of two pi bonds or between pi bond and lone pair of electrons present on adjacent atoms. We will see it through some examples. It's a permanent effect involving complete transfer of bonded electron pairs and the presence of certain substituents and functional groups on the molecular structure induces mesomeric effect like this. 
Considering this case, here we have got a conjugated system that is the pi electrons and the lone pair are in conjugation. We need either the pi electrons are conjugated or lone pair is in conjugation with a pi electron. In this case, I just have the skeleton here just to demonstrate. In this case, this pi lone pair of electrons present on this heteroatom Y can be moved to this bond here and consequently here a new bond a pi bond is established so you have got this heteroatom becoming positive and in the next you can see this pi bond is moving or displaced to a new position like this and again the next pi bond which is in conjugation with the previous one now get moved to this atom located to this atom so this carbon become negatively charged so this pi electron there occurs a complete transfer of bonded electron pairs due to the presence of this particular substituent or functional group here and this causes polarity in the molecule the molecule before was non-polar but here now positive and negative centers are created within the molecule because of the movement of this electrons due to the presence of pi bonds in conjugation or the lone pair in conjugation with pi bond and these two structures are called resonance structures of this particular molecule and the actual structure lies in between the two resonance structures. Mesomeric effect can occur in molecules with either conjugated double bonds or lone pair occurring conjugation with pi electrons as I said before. Here is a case where you have got double bonds are in conjugation that is double bonds are separated by a single bond. In this case, due to this electronegativity of oxygen, the pi electron cloud is located on oxygen. So, the oxygen will become negatively charged and this pi electron, this double bond will become a single bond now. So, consequently, this pi electron cloud moves to the next carbon here so that a new bond is placed here or this pi electron cloud is displaced to new position so that this carbon will become positive. So, a polarity is induced in this molecule due to the mesomeric effect induced by this oxygen atom. And these two are the resonance structures of this molecule and the actual structure lies in between the two and the possibility of having these two structures are equal. And in the second case where lone pair electrons are in conjugation with pi bond, here this methoxy group, the oxygen atom bears a lone pair of electron. This lone pair occurs in conjugation with the neighboring pi electron cloud. So let's see how the mesomeric effect works there. This lone pair of electron on the oxygen now moves, moves on to this bond. And so this oxygen will be compositively charged and a double bond is established there. And consequently this double bond, the pi electron cloud moves on to the next atom. So the double bond is displaced and as a consequence this double bond is now located on localized on this carbon so that the carbon will become negatively charged. Again the polarity is induced in the molecule due to the presence of a methoxy group which contains a lone pair of electron and this lone pair of electrons occur in conjugation with pi electron clouds. That is why the mesomeric effect is operated here resulting in polarity of the molecule and the two structures here are as an resonance structures. There are two types of mesomeric effects plus M effect and minus M effect that is positive mesomeric effect and negative mesomeric effect depending on the nature of substituents let's see. Here in this case that we have seen previously due to this presence of methoxy group you can see the electron displacement occurs away from the methoxy group. So this is plus M effect where the substituent causes movement of pi electrons away from it like very similar to the inductive plus, if, plus I and minus I effect. Some of the examples for plus M causing uh, functional groups are oxygen, amino group, alkoxy group, etc, etc and this ability to cause, their ability to cause plus M effect increases from bromine to oxygen in this set of examples. Coming to minus M effect, you can see the 
again in this case in this aldehyde you have seen that the oxygen atom causes the delocalization of pi electrons towards it that will be a minus m effect where the substituent or functional groups drags the pi electron cloud towards it and some of such groups minus m inducing groups are nitro group cyano group aldehydic etc and their inducing ability increases from acids to nitro group in this direction among those examples so with that we have got the definition of mesomeric effect and the two different types of mesomeric effect and now we move on to a special case of aromatic compounds benzene nitrobenzene and aniline here benzene this is the structure of benzene you know and benzene has got mesomeric effect here it is also called a resonance effect is both are identical actually exclusively for aromatic compounds we call a resonance this one this pi bond is now moving on to the neighboring pi neighboring carbon atom so the pi bond is shifted to a new place obviously the neighboring pi electron cloud moves to new position like this and the next neighboring pi electron now moves to the new position so you have got two different but identical structures for benzene these two are called resonance structures and the actual structure of benzene lies in between the two structures that partial double bond character is present between all the carbon atoms and this is called a resonance hybrid and all the carbons on this resonance hybrid are identical any reagent can attack with equal possibility on all the six carbons that is the case of resonance in benzene now moving on to nitrobenzene this is nitrobenzene with this structure nitrogen is attached to two oxygens but in different ways actually one is a dative bond and the other is a covalent bond pure covalent bond now we can see that due to this electronegativity of higher electronegativity of oxygen this pi electron cloud is moving on to this because this all the three pi electron clouds are in conjugation with each other and the fourth pi electron cloud between nitrogen and oxygen is in conjugation with the other pi electrons so this occurs so this mesomeric effect occurs that this pi electron cloud is moving on to the oxygen atom so that you have got in the next step here nitrogen become the loser and it does not want to be the loser so obviously this pi electron cloud can move on to the bond in between the nitrogen and carbon so that you have got this structure here the oxygen become negative because the pi electron cloud is now present on oxygen atom here a new double bond a new pi bond is established and this carbon become positively charged because it lost its pi electron cloud this carbon is the real loser here and now in the next step the pi electron cloud in conjugation with the previous one now moves on to a new position so that you have got the positive charge moving on to this carbon atom now and in the next step the new pi electron cloud is displaced towards this electron deficient carbon so that a new the pi electron cloud from the previous position is shifted to a new position obviously the positively charged is shifted to new carbon atom and in the next what happens is the double bond between carbon and nitrogen is moving on to this carbon which is the loser and the electrons present or the charge present on oxygen is moving in between oxygen and nitrogen so in the end you have got the structures so all the, the all those structures are resonance structures and the actual structure is a sum total or lies in between all those structures an important consequence of this mesomeric effect caused by the nitro group here is in certain reactions as we are going to see here suppose you have got a nucleophilic attack a nucleophilic like a hydroxyl group or a halogen halide ion is attacking on this nitrobenzene what happens the nucleophile brings a negative charge because it is it needs it is looking for a positive charge center so the nucleophile will look for positive charge center on the nitro group this ortho position this para position here and the other ortho position so for nucleophilic attack the nitro group on nitrobenzene induces ortho and para directing effect that is the new nucleophilic group will attack on ortho and para positions with respect to the nitro group because of the 
mesomeric effect induced by the nitro group and in case of electrophilic attack for example in the attack by a nitro group and a hydronium ion wants to attack on this compound this electrophil electrophile which is having a positive charge now looks for a negative charge center but on the nitro benzene there is no real negative charge centers but this meta positions are relatively electron rich than the ortho and para positions which are really positively charged so the electrophile the positively charged species will now attack on relatively electron rich centers which are the meta centers therefore for electrophilic reagents nitrobenzene or nitro group in nitrobenzene act as a meta directing group so when an electrophil is attacking on a nitrobenzene molecule this electrophile is placed at the meta position with respect to the place of the nitro nitro group that's about the meta or ortho para directing effect of nitro group due to its mesomeric effect in nitrobenzene very similarly we will see aniline with this structure with a lone pair of electrons on nitrogen aniline has got again mesomeric effect due to this amino group this is a minus m effect group that is it delocalizes electron pi, pi electrons away from it so you have got this kind of movement where the new structure has got a positive charge on nitrogen atom because it lost its lone pair of electron and a new double bond between carbon and nitrogen and this double bond is now disappeared so that this oxygen this carbon atom will become negatively charged because the previous pi bond is now shifted on to this carbon due to the mesomeric effect induced by this amino group in the next step this charge is moving on to this new place and the, the pi electron cloud is new mo now moving on to the carbon or located on to the carbon so you have got this structure where this a uh, new pi electron pi bond is established here and the previous pi bond is disappeared and forms a charge on the carbon and in the next step this charge is forming a bond between the two carbons and this pi electron cloud is moving on to this carbon so that you have got this structure here the carbon bears a negative charge now and in the next the carbon the negative charge is moving on to this in between the two carbons and the double bond is now moving back to nitrogen so you have got a new structure for the aniline so actual structure of aniline lies in between all the structures and all those are resonance hybrids of aniline and as a consequence as we have seen before if you want to have a nucleophilic attack on aniline a nucleophile having a negative charge looks for a positive charge center on the molecule but there is no really positively charged center on the molecule on the ring so it looks for a relatively electron deficient centers that are the meta positions because ortho and para positions have electron rich centers or charges there negative charges there so the nucleophile look for less electron rich center or electron deficient center which are meta centers so aniline or nh2 group is meta directing in case of nucleophilic attack on the other hand if it is an electrophilic reagent approaching the aniline molecule then you have got the electrophile the positively charged species looking for negatively charged centers here you can see ortho positions and para position are negatively charged centers so the electrophile goes and attach on this ortho and para position so aniline or nh2 group has got an ortho and para directing effect for electrophilic attack so that's about the mesomeric effect and the, the important consequence of mesomeric effect due to the presence of nitro group or amino group on rings on aromatic structures that they influence the positioning of new electrophilic or nucleophilic reagent with respect to the up on position with respect to the nitro group ortho and meta directing effect or para directing effect can be occurred so with that we close the session of electromeric and mesomeric effect and in the new session we will see another electron displacement effect which is called hyperconjugation effect and until then thank you